something a little different this time and, and uh, make this an honor to our citizen scientists who spend, uh, have spent hours getting certified to test water and who go out once a month every Wednesday to bring back water samples which we then sam test and sample and get the results out publicly. Uh, and it's probably one of the most important functions that we have right now. Uh, and those folks do a tremendous job. And I wanted to take a little bit of the time to honor all of them with this, uh, with this, uh, with this uh, oyster roast. Uh, so please feel appreciated and honored. I know that all of you uh, work hard to get this together and make it happen each month, and I really, really appreciate that. Uh, we're developing a baseline of data that does not now exist in almost any river in Georgia. So this is a big deal for us, and it's a big deal for the river. So thank you all for what you do, and we hope uh, we're going to be having another training program in a couple of weeks. Right, Anna? She's in the kitchen. Oh, she's in the kitchen. Doing the low okay. country bowl. That's, that's a good place. She's done well in the kitchen. Uh, she knows what well, does well everywhere. We're very happy to have her with us. Uh, so we're going to have another training coming up in a couple of weeks. Is anyone interested in getting certified as a water quality tester? Let either Anna or I know. And, uh, we will make sure that you get involved in the training and certification. And this is Anna, which uh, I know some of you know. But Anna will be uh, kind of stepping in to do the day-to-day -day Riverkeeper work as of January 1st. And I'm going to be sort of moving aside onto the board of directors and uh, will be known as the Riverkeeper Emeritus. Very academic. Uh, so anyway, that's what I'll be doing. I'll be involved. Uh, Anna will be uh, uh, involved on the day to day. So as much as you can uh, uh, support her as the new river keeper, we would certainly really appreciate it. And I know she would need all the help she can get, particularly from volunteers, because we obviously rely on volunteers. Our volunteers to us is, are kind of like our staff. Uh, and uh, that's really important to us to keep things going. But there have been six people that have been with us from the beginning who have been volunteers. In, in fact, they really qualify more as staff than volunteers because of the contributions they've made to the organization. So we, I have here a little memento for them of our appreciation for the work that they've done now, this is pretty cool. This is a sculpture that was made by Walter Palmer, who's sitting over there. That's that grumpy old looking guy. <laughs> Walter actually is a renowned sculptor, and we are honored to have him living in St. Mary's now after him and the keys for many years. And he lives right across the street from me, so it's really an honor to watch him work in his studio. So this is his creation. It's been signed by him. And we want to make sure that each of the six people that I'm going to announce uh, have, have, uh, can take this home with them and feel honored to be a part of the St. Mary's River Keeper. And we hope to do this every year. This one happens to be for Joe LaSense. Joe Lucent is not here, although he may come. He's, he's uh, out and will be coming back here, hopefully. Uh, Joe's been around as long as the Riverkeeper has been around. And he has provided us office space. He's provided us a boat. He's a pro provided us administrative support. All necessary to get the Riverkeeper off the ground. And frankly, without that, we would not be here today. So this is for Joe, in appreciation for what he has done for the organization. And we will give this to him as soon as he arrives. This is for an individual who has been with us from the beginning.
beginning. In fact, his property has been tormented by E. coli and human waste that is passing through his property. And he has been very motivated to do something about it. And what he has done on his own is that he has gotten certified as a water tester. And he also has bought all the equipment necessary to do the analysis and does it every month and takes a huge amount of pride in what he does. I would say he is a true river keeper. Ronnie, please come forward. And uh, Harry's Plus was really important to us because we have, we have outside here numerous oyster leases where we can actually legally harvest our oysters. Now, we would have had uh, local oysters had the water temperature been a little cooler this summer. And we had a little less rain, which dilutes our salinity, which are both factors in creating a nice habitat for oysters. So we hope to have, when that oyster, uh, when those oyster beds get back up in full production, we hope to have another oyster roast again using our own oysters, which is a big deal. So Ronnie has been very instrumental in that, and uh, we thank you, Ronnie. Yes, sir. Thank you.